Hey guys, welcome back to another video. K Puff Lego Mastery here. And today I've got something new to show you, and that is my one cylinder vacuum engine. Now, I have noticed on YouTube that there isn't many videos anymore on these vacuum engines. And I felt like maybe I should make one because I just happened to run into a few videos of them from a few years back and decided to make one. And this one, I've put many performance tunes on it, such as lubricating the cylinder wall, shortening the valve, um, and having making it have more exhaust release. And I also added a throttle, which is not changeable. It is part of the engine, so you can't take it off and add a different sports card because this is, already is a pretty much maxed out item. But yeah, it can rev extremely fast with this flywheel, but I also tried putting this flywheel on it and it runs even faster, but it has a higher idle. You prefer to have a lower idle for higher RPM range. And it probably would go to idle to about maybe seven or eight times the speed of idle, which is really fast. I don't know exactly how fast it is. But anyway, it uses a crank valve here. And if you, if anyone wondering, when you're making an engine, make sure that the valve crank is always 90 degrees ahead, one turn in the direction that your engine turns. So in this engine, it turns clockwise, so this way. So you'd want, if you're your piston is at top dead center. Let me show you. If your piston is at top dead center, right here, then the valve will just be starting to close and it'll be 90 degrees offset of that. So this is top dead center. Then the crank would be facing like this. And that's the timing. And here you can see how it works. So when the valve opens, the suction goes through, it is sealed. And it goes into the cylinder. And the piston goes up, like this. See? And then the valve closes, and this is not sealed anymore, so no more suction goes in, and the pressure is regained in the cylinder when it's opened here, and the piston goes down. Now this cycle repeats when, as it lose, as it has more suction power, the the pressure gets higher and higher, and it and it'll go real fast. And this speed that I'm turning it at is just about what it idled at. So that's kind of fast. And I, it's really hard to show you how fast it would go by just turning it. Because it goes that fast. So yeah. And here I've added a smooth clear wall. So that I can show you the piston. Yeah, so, but the only thing is with my camera, it may be a little hard to see how fast the piston moving, because it just, it'll just look like it's going like this, kind of, you know, that camera effect on some cameras. Well, another performance tip I have for you is also to keep the flywheel secured, especially if it's a big one like this. 
depending on whether it's a brick flywheel or a wheel flywheel it it really should the axle should come through and be secured so that it doesn't bend down with the weight of the flywheel because then it'll run faster and more smooth also make sure your cylinder wall is very secure and if your carb overhangs make sure you add a beam here that allows it to have extra stability so you can't push down on it and the cylinder will go f so make sure you have that so let's turn on the So yeah, that's basically it. If you guys like what you saw, I will be posting a, an official performance tip video for you guys to make your own action. And yeah, I will also be trying to make a two-cylinder version, which I will be uploading in the future. So yeah, stay tuned, and see you in the next video.